finally found a shirt and I can't get my face through it. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey everyone, welcome to the ninth Q&A video. My hair is kind of messed up from putting on this shirt. Anyway, thank you for 900 subscribers. That's amazing, guys. We are actually really close to 1,000 and then the big 10th Q&A. But in the meantime, here's the ninth Q&A that I promised you guys for 900 subscribers. So I'm just going to go straight through all 10 questions and I hope you guys find it entertaining. Hope your question got in. Only 10 of them did, so... But I'm pretty sure everyone's question's gonna get in the next q and I upgraded, I'm not using the computer anymore, I'm using my iPhone now. I feel so fancy. At Volleyballer underscore 21. What would you name the autobiography of your life? The autobiography of my life. I don't need an autobiography, really. These daily vlogs are pretty much gonna be an autobiography for everyone, because I plan on doing them throughout my life. I hope you guys stay with me forever on this journey. And... What's the number one most played song on your iPod? My most played song, actually, is Heaven Can Wait by With Kings, which I think I might do a cover of soon. If you guys want to see that on my second channel, leave it in the comments. Final question from, this is like three questions in one. You guys are getting a triple whammy just on the first question. Football or? Or. Question number two comes from at Laura underscore 1014. What's on your Christmas list? Actually, my Christmas list mainly is a new camera, a tripod, so I don't have to use this monopod in a weird holding system. Um, what else is on there? I got a microphone stand I want. It's pretty much all stuff for my videos, because that's all I really want to do are these videos in my free time. Question number three comes from at Jocelyn Cruz. I feel like I've answered her questions before. And I feel like I say her name wrong every single time. Can you speak French? Oui, oui. No, I can't speak French. <laughs> Literally, I know no French. I know no other language besides English and gibberish. So if any of you know gibberish, make a video response. Question number four comes from Ant Northern Spiral. What video game brings out the most nostalgia for you? It took me forever to figure out what nostalgia meant, but Okay, Glenn basically, or Glenn is Northern Spiral, you guys should know that by now, but it's basically a game that reminds you of your childhood. There are way too many games that remind me of my childhood, so I'm gonna go with Super Mario Bros. 3, play that on my grandma's NES all the time at their house, now they live in Florida. There's Skyrim, which, because I'm still kind of in my childhood, because I'm still a child. I'm 16, I'm not super old, so not even near close to being halfway old. So, um, what other games are there? Duck Hunt played Duck Hunt so much. We'd like press it against the TV all the time. It was amazing. Whatever. Question number five comes from at Maddie Elaine. If I gave you a unicorn pillow pet, would you use it? Yes. Question number six comes from at Reen Bean. Favorite Christmas tradition, smiley face. I can't see the emoticon for some reason. Look at this. There's an emoticon there. You guys just saw it though. But um, I'm going to guess that was um, a purple devil face with horns and stuff. Christmas. I don't... We set up the lights. Lights all over the place. I'll show you guys the Christmas scene in the vlog that I'm setting up in my room. I need to clean out my room first, especially this counter. Um, so stuff like that. It's just family stuff, stuff I like to do during the winter, and the fact that everyone's in a great mood the whole month. No people like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all like, yeah, Christmas! Question number seven comes from at XX. If you see yourself through someone else's eyes, whose eyes would it be? If I saw myself through someone else's eyes, I'd want to look through the eyes of a person that hates me, you know? People are like, oh, I want to see what people think of me in the good way. I want to see what, like, people don't like about me and see what they hate about me and stuff like that. I just want to, it's like constructive criticism. I just said constructive wrong. But yeah, I really want to, I'm curious, but that'll never happen because I can't see through someone else's eyes. But I love everyone. Question number eight comes from at Haley underscore Alex. What do you think your life would be like if you never started diving? If I never started diving, I actually probably would still be doing theater. I was in The King and I was, I was little. I was in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat when I was little. Um, I was in theater. I'd probably be in the Glee Club at school. Um, be making YouTube videos still. I. YouTube's something that I didn't find because of diving. I found YouTube because I love making videos, and I love making videos for you guys. And every time I get a new subscriber, I just, it feels great because I'm like, 
someone actually wants to watch my videos, that means I'm doing something right. So, every time you guys tell your friend to subscribe or something and they do, I'm just like, I'm doing something right, people want to see what I have to say and all that stuff. So I'd be making videos and doing theater and singing. Blah, blah, blah. Question number nine comes from at I am K Espinosa. If you were one of the characters in The Walking Dead, who would you say you'd be and why? Definitely not the governor. Everybody hates the governor. I would definitely not be Andrea because she's stupid. Michonne's awesome, but I'm not that heartless. <laughs> Did I? Okay, spoiler alert to the most recent episode that was on Sunday. If you don't want to hear a spoiler alert, just don't listen to this part because I'm going to say it and I don't care. I'm going to spoil it. Michonne stabs the governor's daughter. Well, she's a zombie daughter, so she's technically already dead. But she stabs him in the back of the... Him, it's a girl, in the back of the head. And he's like, no! And I was like, yes, Michonne. In actuality, um, I would probably be one of the characters that has already died. Because... <laughs> I would probably not live during a zombie apocalypse in that kind of situation. I'd freak out. I'd get eaten. I'd probably be... Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't sacrifice myself for random people, no. I'd be the selfish one. Sorry. <laughs> question number 10, final question of Q&A number 9, comes from at Nicole Cremona. What is the craziest dream you've had? All right, so the craziest dream I've ever had was actually last night. I have some pretty crazy dreams. I was in a zombie apocalypse, and it was The Rock Johnson, whatever his name is, the guy with a big tattoo on his arm, Dwayne Johnson, I think that's his name, and Harry Styles was there for some reason. And we were all in the zombie apocalypse, and we got to this place where there were no zombies somehow, and Harry Styles came up to me and handed me a shoe, it said Harry Styles on it. I just burped, and then the dream ended. It was I was like, what is going on? And then I woke up and went to the radio show. Thank you for watching the Q&A number nine. Yay, nine are done. That's 900 subscribers, guys. That's crazy. I remember at my first one, I was like, oh, 100 subscribers. Now I'm nine times that. I'm just like, oh, 900 subscribers. So once we get, I think it's like 70 more, 70 more subscribers, I will be making the 10th Q&A, which, okay, I'm going to spoil it now. The 10th q and I'm going to be answering 100 questions as fast as I can. So I'm going to need a ton of questions from Twitter. I'm not going to have the questions on the screen, I don't think, because I'm just going to be scrolling through my iPhone to see them. I'll just answer them rapid fire. Um, I, won't, I won't be saying people's names. You'll just have to remember your question. Yeah, I said that kind of right. I rambled on. Thank you guys for watching this Q&A. Uh, if you guys don't know what I do, if this is your first video you're seeing of me, I do daily vlogs on this channel. I do music video parodies, covers, sketch videos on my second channel, which is in the description below. And I do uh, short little iPhone videos with this iPhone um, on my third channel, iPhone Steel, which is also in the description below. So if you guys want to check me out on all my other videos, go click the links below or click subscribe. Um, and once we get 1,000 subscribers, big milestone, I'll be making a 10th Q&A, 100 questions as fast as I can. So once you guys see me getting close to 1,000 subscribers, start leaving me questions and I'll start answering them. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I just totally zoned out. Question number two comes from I just spit. Question number six comes I just spit again. At question number Can you speak French? Look, can't even speak English.